Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Humble here, and today I'm going to be going over the top five beginner tips to learn keyboard and mouse fast in Fortnite. Guys, if you're switching this Christmas, this is the perfect video for you, or if Christmas just happened, whenever you're watching this video, if you're a couple weeks in, a couple months in, just getting your keyboard and mouse, this is going to be the best video going over my top five tips for beginners. Guys, make sure you guys drop a like, drop a sub if you know I make tons of content just like this. Check out my Twitch link, it's in the description if you guys wanna watch my live streams and have any more personal questions for me to ask, I will answer those on stream for you. But yeah guys, without further ado, let's get right into this video. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to go over is how long until you can start to expect big improvement. Guys, I'm going to go over this with you right now. Okay, so I know a lot of you guys have mixed expectations about how long this is going to take, how much work is this going to take. You might have just switched or literally it might be Christmas or before Christmas as you're watching this video. And guys, let me just tell you, it really does depend on the person, but here's a really good rule of thumb. One of my first major tips here, guys. Don't just burn yourself out playing these long 8, 10, 12 hour days grinding. Now that's not always bad, but look, if you guys are messing up your sleep schedule, you're not getting enough rest in between play days, that is going to affect your muscle memory. Cause look, all this comes down to is muscle memory. So the first major tip, honestly, if you guys wanna see faster gains and faster improvement, is to, instead of playing these crazy long hour days thinking that this is gonna make you better, play a structured amount of practice time with different game modes. So work on your aim for an hour, work on your building for an hour, your box fighting for an hour. Play about three or four hours a day you can play more if you want, I totally understand, but for maximizing improvement, all I'm saying is beating your head in on one thing, like playing go and go and go, all that's gonna do is actually mess up your muscle memory. Playing tired messes up your timing. It, it messes up your muscle memory, okay? You guys wanna play fresh, take in the information, and then you wanna get the proper amount of rest every night. Like seriously guys, it's just like any other sport. If you wanna learn the muscle memory of something over time, play for a consistent amount of time, nothing crazy, play consistent and keep that up over time. Instead of trying to binge it out and then getting frustrated and quitting guys, maintain a pace that is going to be the best thing for you guys in the long run. Maintain a scheduled pace of how much you're practicing every day at different things, get good rest, don't over till trying to get good too fast, find a pace, something you can stick with. All right, guys, getting right into tip number two. This is going to be find someone to play with who's better than you, but doesn't dominate you. So this is something that I really need to explain. Uh, a big tip that's been passed around the Fortnite community that is very true in just in esports in general is that you should be playing someone better than you to improve. Obviously, this person is going to be able to expose your weaknesses in game and or in creative box fights or PGs. But there's a big difference between playing someone who challenges you and is better than you or playing someone who dominates you that is pointless guys if you're playing somebody who is just vastly better than you or you have just switched the keyboard and mouse like in this scenario and this person's been on controller for a year and a half two years you know however long they've been playing fortnite obviously this person's going to obliterate you i mean how are you going to be able to compete with someone who's been playing for that long uh, on that input so you, what you want to guys would try to do is find someone who's also pretty new to the keyboard and mouse switch if you have a friend like that you guys could also check the comments maybe in the comments somebody will be dropping their epic and you guys can play if you're both switching but all in all find someone who challenges you it is worthless to go play somebody who's far worse than you or just isn't into fortnite like that you know they're a very casual player and just beating up on them to get that ego boost isn't getting you guys anywhere you're wasting your time you're wasting their time you're wasting your time because you're dominating them they're not getting better you know you're laughing whatever it's not worth it guys make sure you find someone who challenges you but doesn't dominate you in fights and that will go a long way over time all right guys now this is going to be the hardest tip to follow tip number three and if you guys can follow it i promise you this will show you the biggest gains over time like by far like this tip is so important okay so here we go guys when you guys are playing arena and i've said this in a previous video a few months ago i wanted to reiterate it because it's so important a lot of you guys i've seen in the comment sections on my tiktok on my youtube in my twitch streams you guys have said um you know i'm in division six arena division seven arena how can i get higher points you know or these are my points is this good for how long i've been on keyboard and mouse all this stuff you guys are looking at arena points and even like pr and all this stuff to decide if you're doing good on this switch guys that is the wrong approach trust me please <clears throat> so look you guys need to be pushing every fight you can in arena it's so important take fight after fight w key everybody i've seen clicks say this before on stream and i was nodding my head i was like they finally a pro says this to, to players who are trying to improve you guys need to get into as many engagements as possible and then not only that 
you were gonna die a lot more understand that like if you're pushing stupid fights in arena and stupid fights in pubs whatever you're playing and you're dropping all hot and you're taking these dumb fights you're gonna die a lot more right but this is the silver lining if you're the type of person who can look at those deaths and find out what you did wrong. You don't blame it on the ping. You don't blame it on the lag, the frame drop. You don't blame it on your keyboard, your mouse, your monitor. You don't blame it on, uh, oh my God, I just started, screw this. I'm switching back to controller. You don't blame it on anything. You don't blame it on the timing. There's so many things, the third party. If you can be like, okay, this is what I did wrong. Maybe it was a bad situation. Maybe I got unlucky. Maybe my ping sucks, but here's what I could have done right there to be better. If you're the type of person who can find that within you, find the right mindset and analyze what you could have done there. Oh, I could have I could have held a little more left on that peak and baited that shot out. I, should, I opened right up into him. Why did I do that? I should have known he was gonna take my wall. I should have tunneled back and got height and found a shot, found an angle. If you're the type of person who can find these things in your own gameplay and like really self-evaluate honestly, you are going to excel past everybody, bro. Like, dude, this is it right now. You hear this tip? Watch these other two tips I'm about to go with, but right there, that's so important. All right, guys, getting right into tip number four, and this is gonna be another one with massive importance. Guys, 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 you need to stop switching back and forth between controller and keyboard and mouse. Now, it's been a theme throughout my videos that I talk a lot about the big double M muscle memory. It's so important. Muscle memory is basically what all of your motor skills are built off of in anything you're doing. So in keyboard and mouse, you know, when you're switching, obviously you are reprogramming literally your mind to learn a totally different input obviously there's going to be a huge learning curve there you're going to have a ton of trouble just like i did when i switched to keyboard and mouse and i still remember that urge to switch back to controller especially when i was losing a lot of fights that day and i was getting really demotivated and like we talked about earlier man pretty much the best way to get better is a macro thesis like the big picture of it all is doing things every single day consistently that build upon your muscle memory and don't put it in a detriment don't hurt your muscle memory and one of the major things a lot of people do including myself i've been guilty of this back in the day when i was switching back in season 10 is i would pick that elite controller back up because i was mad i was dying in fights i would pick it back up i would miss days of keyboard and mouse not only are you not practicing keyboard and mouse while you're playing controller okay so that would be bad enough right you're slacking off the really the double entendre of it all is that you're actually reprogramming your mind to think about this controller when playing this game again. So you're actually, it's not like you're just not practicing keyboard and mouse. You're also practicing a different muscle memory, which is like two or three times as bad. So if you're gonna make this switch guys, literally commit to it, okay? Really commit yourself. I promise you, you can do it. The person watching this video, you were just like me. All this gameplay you're seeing, you're just like me. You're just at a different time period. I remember when I was just started switching, a lot of my friends didn't think I would be able to make it they didn't because i told them i'm gonna become nuts mechanically i'm gonna become a youtuber all this stuff a lot of people did not believe in that they laughed at it because it did seem like a stretch from where i was but i promise you if you put in the work you guys can get there please believe in yourself all right guys so for my last tip this is going to be actually a drill or something that you guys should practice doing so you guys a lot of you are maybe leaning on editing because the editing mechanics and building mechanics on keyboard and mouse can be a lot more faster and flashier, but your aim is really suffering. I don't know if you guys might be a couple days in, a couple weeks in, whatever you are, even a couple months in. I'm sure you guys have noticed, wow, aiming is hard. This is something that I'm going to have to get used to, and it's probably very frustrating because even if you do a couple really good decisions in a row, you make a nice edit, you're still not connecting. You're not finishing the kill, even though you feel like, yeah, I made the bright plays there. So a really good tip that I have for you guys is go into creative, right? Go into the practice games modes uh, through the portals. There should be like BHE fill there or even zone wars, but BHE fill is by far the best for this because you're just respawning over and over again. Just got BHE fill is like in there, BHE fill 1v1 creative map, I believe is what it's called. And you guys just respawn over and over again, right? So here's the tip. Guys, when you're playing BHE fill in these fill game modes in creative, do not, do not allow yourself to edit. Literally just play with your shotgun, whatever your switch weapon is, and practice the aim only. Basically act like you're a bot and just focus on your aim. Maybe you guys know when you like look at someone, you're like, dang, they have bot aim. They, they don't try to edit, they don't try to build, they just sit there with their gun and they try to sh put it on point, you know what I mean? That's all they're worried about. You guys should mix this into your practice schedule. Not too much, but it's a really good idea sometimes to put a handicap on yourself and just worry about the aim. Be like, I'm not allowed to edit. I won't edit, unbind the button and just focus on aim, focus on tracking. Maybe do that 30 
30 minutes a day. That might be a really good start. Play one or two matches like that a day, and that will build your muscle memory on that over time. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I really hope I was able to provide you some value, man. I have tons of more videos like this on my channel. If you want to go binge watch them, check them out about switching to keyboard and mouse and just tips like that in general for getting better. Also, guys, I live stream on Twitch every single morning. If you guys want to check that out, the link is in the description. If you want to ask me some questions live on stream, I will respond. And guys, without further ado, man, make sure you like and comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And it's been your boy, Humbo. Good luck with your Switch, guys. Peace.